Welcome back. I've got a really interesting piece of apparatus to show you today. What we're going to be looking at is a device that can easily detect alpha radiation. It's very simple in design and it's called a spark counter. So I've got a spark counter here and it's used to detect alpha radiation. It doesn't do very well with beta and gamma and we'll talk about that in a minute. It's a very, very simple piece of apparatus. All it actually is, is a metal top plate with a grill on it and beneath that plate is a very fine wire. And what you need to do is connect it to a extra high tension power supply. We're going to connect it to just under 5,000 volts and we make sure that the wire underneath is very positive and the top plate is connected to ground and uh, that's going to put a very strong electric field between uh, the wire underneath and the top plate and then what we're going to do is get an alpha radiation source and fire alpha particles through that grill on top. So let's get the spark counter working. So I'm going to turn on the EHT power supply and turn up the voltage and maybe, there we go. You can probably hear loads of arcing going on there, loads of clicks, that's no good. So I'm just going to turn the voltage down ever so slightly. Okay, so now we've got just under 5,000 volts across a very narrow gap and what we need is our alpha radiation source. Now I know I can touch the top of this because it's earthed, but the wire underneath is at a very high potential, 5,000 volts. So I'm gonna safely take our alpha source out of its container and hold it on top and look what happens. So we get loads of sparks, loads of clicks, and I'll take a close up of this in a minute, detecting the alpha particles. It's gotta be alpha particles because closer than five centimetres, coming out of our little radium source. And when I take it away, the clicks stop. So this is going to take a little bit of explaining. So let's explain what's going on here. We get these clicks whenever the alpha particles travel from the sample through the grill and down to the wire underneath. So I'll just put the source away for a second. Um, so what's happening here is between the wire and the top plate, we've got 5,000 volts and a very small distance. So that creates a very, very strong electric field. The field strength being the number of volts per meter. When the alpha particle comes flying out of the sample, oh, there's a bit of ionization there from uh, maybe background radiation. When the alpha particle comes flying out of the source, it enters the electric field and accelerates and it hits the molecules that are in the air, probably nitrogen. And when it hits those molecules, it knocks electrons off and then hits another one and another one. And it's a vast number of ions that it creates per centimetre travel. So in the gap, we've now got positive ions and more importantly, negative electrons. And those negative electrons can travel towards the positive wire beneath, create an electric current, and as they do so, as ions recombine, you get the click and you get the flash of light coming off this. So it's a very simple device, but a very effective one for showing alpha radiation. So our spark counter is detecting the shower of ions that are being made as the alpha particles travel their three or four centimeters through the air. In this case, Remember, the gap's very, very small, so they're only going a very, very short distance. Um, do these have any use? Well, it's really quite interesting that if you think about taking this grill and wrapping it all the way around the wire and then putting a low pressure gas inside there, that's your Geiger Muller tube. So this is a precursor to a Geiger Muller tube. But they also have a use in particle accelerators that if you want to detect radiation coming off a particle accelerator, you can use a whole series of wires and as the particle goes through and creates a shower of ions, you'll get a flash of light. 
But if you've got a three dimensional structure, you'll see the flashes of light traveling in three dimensions. So you'll get some idea of the direction that the particle went in. So there we go, the spark counter, a lovely and simple little device that demonstrates that alpha particles are very ionizing and only travel a few centimeters in air. So I hope you enjoyed that video. I'll be making another video very soon and I look forward to seeing you then. Thank you.